Hi friends, I am Deepan Prabhatna. Today we will going to see a data wave transformation with Mule ESB part 3. So in previous like we have learned some basic and you know like uh, how to use the custom function in our data wave transformation. Okay, and this in this tutorial we are going to see two things. One is like how to use the group by keyword and how to use the distinct by keyword. Right. So we will start with creating a new application. I will say file new mule project. I will say bw group app. Okay. So under runtime, I will select by default 3.8 only. There can be multiple runtime, and you can select depending on your requirement. Okay. Rest of the setting, I will keep the default setting, and I will simply click on finish. First thing, I will drag and drop HTTP listener component. I will going to configure the HTTP listener component. So under connector configuration, I will click on this add button. Okay, I will keep all settings default. I will not going to change anything. I will say method DW3 path is DW3 and method is port. Okay, now I will drag and drop transform message. And finally, I have to save my output. So I will drag and drop file folder. Before that, I have to create one folder in test source test resources. Let me create the folder. I will say out. Finish. Now on the path, I will set source test resources slash out. Fine. Now let me show what I am going to do with this. So I have a two file. Sorry, I have an input file. This is my input. My output. See, so basically we have four type of books. So I have to, you know, map group the book according to the author. So Louis Miguel. So the book category book CD. See here, if you see, you look. Uh, where is Louis? Yeah, you can see there are two entry for that. Okay, Louis Miguel author. Louis Miguel. So I have to group into the single, you know, payload. Okay, let me start. What I will do? Under go, I will go to transformation. I will say define. I will say add. What will be my ID? I will say input. So create type. I will say JSON. Example. I'll go to desktop. I will say language. Okay, this is my field on input. Let me go to output. I will say out. Output. I will say create type. I will say JSON. Sorry, I will put JSON here. Select example. Select. Okay. So now what I will do? Uh, one minute. Okay. So I want like I will write down here. I can write directly here patents. Okay. And then. I will say payload dot item okay group group by I will say dollar dot author I will say plus Okay, now I will say owner equal to dollar dollar that means dollar dot author comma categories dollar dot type. Okay. This I have to so here. What I am doing payload item. This is my item group by dollar dollar. This is my author, okay. And owner dollar dollar. So I don't have to write dollar dollar author because I am grouping by dollar author. So you can write dollar dollar and category dollar dot type. This is my type, okay. Let me save it. 
let me start Okay, my application has been deployed. I will test it. I will, this is my input message. Send. Okay, what a response 200. Okay, let me refresh my out folder. See now, see you can see like patent owner. So Victor Romario has a book, Beatles CD, and if you see Louis Miguel book and CD, it has been grouped into the single field. Okay. We will test one more example. I will copy this. Sorry, I will not copy this. So I will say Victor Romario. Let me copy this thing. I will do okay. Control V. So mule in action. I will say part two. Okay. So let me send it again. I got hundred. Okay. Two hundred. Okay. Let me refresh it. See, here again under the category it is book book. Okay, so instead of that, what I can do, I will say CD. Okay, let me send it again. I have sent back. Let me refresh. See now you can say book CD. Okay. okay, that is how you can use the group if you want to group the thing. Now, the other thing, I want a distinct author, right, on the distinct owner uh, from the uh, input messages. So, what we can do, let me go back to my uh, flow, I go to transformation. Okay, what I will do, I will remove all those things, I will simply say. Okay, so what I will do, I will say owner owner, I will say payload payload dot owner. Payload dot. Okay, I will say payload dot items dot author, and here I will say distinct. Distinct by dollar. Okay, so let me save, save the application. I let me check if it has been deployed. Okay, now send me message. Okay, I said I got a 200. Okay. So it has created a file with name D32. Let me refresh. You can see all the you know distinct owner available in that message. So even if you see Victor, uh, sorry, Luis Miguel was you know a two time in the message, but it has identified it has given us a distinct owner available within the message. So that is how you can use your group by and distinct by with new transform message. Fine. Okay. Thanks for watching video.